Okay, next case. A 43-year-old woman is brought to the emergency room by her concerned husband who reports his wife is having convulsions. According to the husband, the patient suffers from severe alcoholism, but she stopped taking she stopped drinking two days ago. She has no history of seizures and does not take any medications. On physical examination, the patient appears agitated, diaphoretic, and confused. She is tachycardic, hypertensive, has bilateral hand tremors, and she has a fever of 107 degrees Fahrenheit. You immediately start intravenous admi administration of medication that will treat the patient for alcohol withdrawal syndrome symptoms, and you admit her to the hospital for further monitoring of her condition. So what are we talking about here? So we're talking about benzos, benzodiazepines. So um, these drugs, similar drugs, triazolam, midazolam, uh, lorazepam, all the PAMs and the LAMs. Mechanism of action: enhanced GABA receptor activation which results in increased flow of chloride ions through the adjacent chloride channels, thereby leading to cell membrane hyperpolarization and decreased activity of the neurons of the limbic, thalamic, and hypothalamic regions of the CNS. So the benzos bind to a site directly adjacent to the GABA-A receptor and act to enhance the activity of the receptor. Uh, of the receptor. Clinical uses for anxiety seizures status epilepticus and muscle spasms, alcohol withdrawal, insomnia and, pa and panic disorder. Um, side effects, sedation, altered mental status, ataxia. Other things to think about. Patients using benzos can become dependent on the drug and may experience withdrawal syndromes, symptoms, e.g. altered mental status, anxiety, tachycardia, vomiting, if the medication is, is stopped abruptly. Benzo overdose is characterized, characterized by cardiac and respiratory depression. It is treated supportively with flumazenil, which is a competitive antagonist of the benzodiazepines at the GABA receptor. So don't use benzodiazepines in patients with liver disease or in patients who use alcohol barbiturates or the CNS depressants. Thank you very much.